Welcome to part one of my build of Ravel's 1 to 144th scale Apollo Saturn V moon rocket. It's reference number 04909 and on the front of the box you've got a lovely picture of the full Saturn V taking off and uh, obviously starting its trip to the moon. This uh, boxing doesn't actually isn't specific to any of the Apollo missions. Uh, we're going to look into the different variations that are actually inside, which can reflect what a particular Apollo mission we're looking at. Um, this is particularly on the internals of it, where, as you can see on the side of the box, you have bulk heads which are green. Uh, on my research, uh, some of them are more buff colour. There's red oxide colour ones and uh, the instructions that come with it actually suggest, um, well actually no, the previous instructions with the initial boxing actually suggest uh, aluminium colour. So it appears on my research that all the different um, Apollos uh, seem to have different versions of the internals, but of course from the outside they all look pretty much similar. With the instructions, it's the Stanford, standard Ravel A4 instructions, they're all pretty clear. To be honest, it's a case of, it's quite simple. Um, making a big long tube and there's a few little external fins and little bits that go on the side. Most of the detail, and there isn't much detail, comes from the engines. Of course you've got the, the main five engines at the bottom, but with this particular model you can take the different stages apart and um, see some of the, the internals on, on each stage. Um, talking of exterior though, the decals uh, seem quite nice. They are in red. Apparently when Ravel first released this, uh, the USA and the United States were um, in black, which was incorrect. And you also get a, a base with it as well, so it can stand on a base. Um, going through the sprues, it's, it, it's white of quite a hard uh, tinny plastic. When you drop it, you get quite a sharp sound. Apart from one sprue, which is silver, which is mainly for those internal bulkheads and the engines. Uh, just as a little bit of a play, I just using some basic uh, DIY mask and tape, not even the Tamiya stuff. I just stuck some of them together just to um, just to see how big it was, purely just as a real temporary fix. Uh, the box says it goes up to about 86 centimeters, but just to really get a feel. And of course, it is quite large. One of the things I did notice though is when it sat on its proper base, those engines are hidden. And to be honest, when it's actually fully um, assembled. The only bit of detail you're going to see is those bottom engines and again just temporarily using a bit of masking tape I just put them together and you can see that the, that bottom detail isn't very good at all so it looks like I'm going to have to be doing some cleaning up there and some scratch building. So that's, uh, that's gets what's in the box, roughly how it sort of goes together and the next part we'll start sticking things together.